Hey everybody, what's up? So sorry for the delay, Dick, on this one. I do want to talk about I Have No Mouth and I Am A Scream, which is a Roger Ellison short story. It focuses on a group of five people who are being kept alive, essentially, underground by this supercomputer, if you will, that was created, there were three of them that were created by the US, China, and Russia, Soviet Union during the Cold War. And one of the computers basically went, oh, crap, I'm alive. Highly intelligent. Took over the other two. And now it keeps these five people in an underground environment because it basically wiped out everybody else. And it takes all his frustrations about being alive, everything else out on them. Uh, there is Gorstar. I had to bring up this up. I'm probably mispronouncing these, so I do apologize if I am. Um, who basically was a pacifist, and then the computer made him apathetic, and he says, like, I don't care anymore. There's Benny, who was a scientist, who was turned into the computer by a gorilla ape, I don't know what you want to call it, with a big sh um, And he is more or less at times insane and just has a temper the only person who can keep him under control is ellen who became a nympho and yeah the only way he can satisfy her is benny she's a size queen at this point um you do have nimdoc uh, who basically you know this t computer tells him hey there's this food out there and they're starving because the thing controls their lives, made them almost immortal. And, you know, so he's like, hey, let's go get this food. And they're like, hey, no, we don't want to. He's like, come on. And he is tortured by the computer. It's basically just, you know, does whatever to him. I think at one point they said it drains him of blood. Yeah, this, this thing is nuts. And then you do have Ted, who is the narrator of the story. He's like, you know, I'm the only sane one in the group. And it turns out he may not be. That Ted is, in fact, has something else wrong with him. And he's basically the computer's whipping boy at one point. Sorry. And that's the best way to describe it. The funny thing is, I was looking into it. There was a computer game for the story made, Ellison didn't even have a computer. He just typed everything out. Um, the weird thing is because this thing has the ability to control everything, it's like, it just goes, oh, here, you know, there's this food in this one place. By the way, you have to, you know, go through this cold area and you have to find this stuff. And they just start losing their ever-loving minds at points. You know, Ellen is the one that I think probably is more sane than any of them, even though the computer kind of really worked, reworked her. You have to feel sorry for Benny. I mean, he... I don't like saying this, but I feel like Ellison... went too far with this character. Um, you have to read the story to get it. It's kind of one of those things where I'm sitting there going, why Why do we have to have this? And in today's society, I don't think the story would work because of the way that it is. But for the time frame, you know, Ellison took it and he twisted it around. It, it does feel like, you know, with the way this thing is able to control the temperature, create things out of nowhere, the way it controls them, it controls their lives. It almost feels like it's virtual reality nowadays. Um, and I'm not going to give away the ending. I'm not going to give away the, you know, how the story got its name. But really, you don't see the full aspect of the computer's anger towards all these humans until the very end when something monumental happens. Do I highly recommend it? Yes, I do. If you're easily offended by you know, sex and that and violence, I wouldn't go for it. I mean, at the time, 
you know, looking at it now, I think, let me go back here to when this was released. Um, it was released in 67, but even for that time frame, there's stuff in here, you know, you don't expect. I never got a chance to play the computer game. I want to. I want to see if I can find, like, in Godal Games or something like that, just so I can play it. Because it looked interesting. Ellison definitely has some interesting work uh, that a lot of these people really do because when you start looking at it, and maybe this could be, you know, one of those off-shot things where we don't, you know, we're, we're basically being warned about computers, and that's the thing. Ellison did not like them, apparently. So, who knows? Maybe that was it. Maybe that was his fear of, you know, these computers taking over. It's really hard to say. So that's it, everybody. I'll talk to you all later. Take care.